safety precautions. Select a communication mode. Installation tools. Installation process. Check the integrity of the packaging and the accuracy of the model number. Take out the fittings and save them for later use. Sun 2000 appearance and port layout. Determining the installation position. Installation environment and position requirements for the Sun 2000. The unit must be installed vertically or with a backward tilt of maximum 15 degrees when it is mounted on a wall or a standard support. The unit must be installed vertically or with a backward tilt of maximum 75 degrees when it is mounted on a tilted support. Space requirements for wall mounted installation. Installation modes for multiple Sun 2000 units. The space requirements for support mounted installation, wall mounted installation, and tilted support mounted installation are the same. Installing the Sun 2000. Determine the hole positions for the mounting bracket and mark them for drilling. Drill holes using a hammer drill. Align the mounting bracket with the holes and secure it using bolt assemblies. Mount the Sun 2000 onto the bracket. the anti-theft screws on the Sun 2000 and the mounting bracket. Installing the AC power cable. Check that the two DC switches are off. Connect a ground cable to the PV side ground point. Crimp the OT terminal using hydraulic pliers.
open the maintenance compartment door. Keep the door open with the support bar. Remove the AC terminal cover and save it for later use. Remove an appropriate length of the jacket and insulation layer from the AC output power cable. Loosen the cable gland. Route cables through the cable glands. Connect a ground cable to the PE point. Connect the AC output power cable. AC output power cable. Tighten the cable gland. Installing the AC power cable. Check that the two DC switches are off. Connect a ground cable to the PV side ground point. Crimp the OT terminal using hydraulic pliers. Open the maintenance compartment door. Keep the door open with the support bar. Remove the AC terminal cover and save it for later use. Remove the AC filter and save the screws for later use. Remove the cable gland. Secure the tube fitting to the enclosure using the nut provided with the tube. Route the AC output power cable through the tube conduit and then fittings. Move the AC power cable to the outside of the compartment and prepare OT terminals. Connect a ground cable to the PE point. Install the AC output power cable. AC output power cable. Connect the conduit and fittings of the tube. Check that the AC power cable is connected correctly and securely. Secure the conduit and fittings of the tube. Secure the AC filter using screws. Installing the DC power cable. Select the sets of DC terminals. Crimp the positive and negative metal terminals respectively onto the positive and negative cables. Insert the positive and negative terminals into the positive and negative connectors and tighten the connectors. Measure the voltage between the connectors.
ensure that the two DC switches are off. Remove the dust proof caps and insert the positive and negative connectors into the corresponding positive and negative DC input terminals of the Sun 2000. Connecting the communications cable. Loosen the cable glands. Route the communications cables through the cable glands. Strip an appropriate length of the communications cable. Connect the cables to the terminal base. Bundle the cables. Tighten the cable glands. Connecting the communications cable. Loosen the cable gland. Route the communications cables through the cable gland. Connect the cables to RJ45 connectors. Insert the connectors into RJ45 network ports. Bundle the cables. Tighten the cable gland. Installation verification. Check that the Sun 2000 is installed properly. Check that the two DC switches are off. Check that all ground cables are connected securely. Check that all AC output power cables are connected correctly and securely. Check that all DC input power cables are connected correctly and securely. Check that all communications cables are connected correctly and securely. Check that all tubes and the cable glands in use at the bottom of the enclosure are sealed. Check that the AC terminal cover has been reinstalled. Check that the maintenance compartment door has been closed and its screws tightened. Check that unused cable glands, USB ports, and DC input terminals are covered with sealing caps. Powering on the Sun 2000 Turn on the AC switch between the Sun 2000 and the power grid. Turn on the DC switches on the Sun 2000. Connect the Sun 2000 to your mobile phone by Bluetooth or USB. Enable the Bluetooth function on your phone for connection to the Sun 2000. Download and install the Sun 2000 app. Log into the app and set parameters.